Hello everybody and welcome to Jet TV. This is episode 5 of my uh, Dark Elf campaign. Uh, I have taken a quick end turn because it was an end turn at the end of the last campaign. So these guys have retreated up here if you were watching uh, before. Um, we did have a little event which is hopefully going to be uh, upping her leadership a little bit. Uh, right now I'm just about to jump straight into a battle here. This is a quest battle for uh, one of my items for my lord. So um, it looks to be a tricky battle. I've not fought it before so we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, straight up against a chaos army with a uh, Beradon Balefire. So um, up against one of their mages. So we're going to be going straight in here. These chaos stretches bore me. At least with the Asla, I can enjoy their death screams. Yet, it is a labor that must be undertaken. I claim this altar, not in Cain's name, but mine own. Savants of the Desperate Gods, I advise you, stay out they of my realize. way. If not, you shall face the might of the Truki. And our ways of killing are far more inventive than your own. Okay, so with these things you do go straight into battle, so... We are going to uh, go very aggressive here. And uh, Malakiv can actually push into the middle. So these guys are holding up here, which is quite sensible for them actually. I know they've got reinforcements coming in at some point. Um, oh, from the shrine, so they're actually going to spawn out maybe? I don't know, we'll have to see. Do they actually have any archers up here? No, they don't, so I'm actually going to move my uh, cav up. And uh, keep moving up. Now these guys have got very... They, these guys do armor piercing, which is good. Because one thing, Chaos are good. They have lots of armor. So uh, being able to uh, have that armor piercing damage is going to really help me here as we push up. Malakif is charging forwards on his... Uh, on his uh, Valiant Steed there. On his Cold One. Oop, sorry. So he's possibly getting a little too far forward, so let's uh, hold him back. And these guys are moving forward. Why are they running away? These guys are moving forward simply because I just want to get shooting. Do these guys do armor piercing damage? Well, they do. This is good, so I'm actually pulling them around the place a little bit, which is quite nice. Pull these guys back. Advancing. Forward. I trade battle. Battle ready. Onward. Merciless warriors. Okay, Advance. let's get into position. Chariots. Glorious destruction. And let's charge. Try and push around the edges. Let's try and surround them. Whoa, that cavalry uh, sent that unit flying. Let's uh, fix their cav here. Let's pop one of these units. This is an explosion which happens around the unit. Alright, now these guys are getting engaged. Let's uh, slam a wind spell across them. Why can't I fire that off? Oh, that was a bit of a waste, but it's not huge. I've got plenty of magic on this battle. Hammer into the side of these guys. Okay, so we have more guys coming in. Let's try and deal with this guy before those lot get here. So 
coming from both sides so what I'll do is I'll try and form a line along the ridge let's try and completely shatter these guys right, reform along here and the dark shards can reform behind Some of them are recouping. So I'm just going to pull my line back just a little. Keep shooting at them, that's doing nicely. Let's hit the Lord a bit though. Straight in. No need to subtle here. Actually, with sure how these guys are doing, let's uh, push these guys forwards a little bit. Let's get Malakith in as well. He can slam to the side. In fact, Malakith can go and get himself involved. These guys are breaking again. These guys are forming up here, they're going to be attacking from over there. It's fine, these guys are breaking now. Let's hit those again. And let's charge in, let's get a complete break here. Okay, let's reform. Get my line reformed for when these guys do come. I might need to actually go and attack them, that's the only thing. So I'm going to start pushing forwards once I've reformed. Don't think these guys, even if these guys come back, there's not much they can do. And a lot of them are completely broken. Right, they are now moving forwards towards me. So this is a nice, this isn't too big a force. So I should actually probably be able to uh, just encircle them relatively easily. Let's have him going and hitting them. I will have destruction. Here they come. Hear my words. I'm not so impressed by that spell. It looks impressive, but it never seems to do too much. Let's go fix them. A little explosion. The Malakif really digging in. Let's hit them. These guys a little closer to give them a bit more benefit. Okay, my cav are now loose. Malik is in here. I just love how he stands in battle. Well, he doesn't do it now, he's on the mount. I'm <laughs> knocking him over. Our murderous prowess has just propped, which means we are now doing much more damage. Let's hammer into the back of them. So this is going nice. This is going nicely at the moment. We are shredding into them. We are breaking them nicely. This is probably the worst unit there, which is now gone. We just killed the last of their uh, demon of their demon spawn or hell spawn or whatever they're called. Here we are doing nicely. Malakith is pounding away in here nicely. 
we are breaking them all. Let's get my swords out against them. And this is it, the mass route is happening. So we have won this now. Unless is there another group to come? No, that is it. So we have now won. Uh, so that wasn't too bad a fight. Because they came in waves, made it a lot easier there, actually. Um, so 300 for... <laughs> About 500, you, when you consider how armoured the Chaos are compared to me, that was a very good battle there. My um, archers really holding their own there. Yeah, at some point I'm going to do a high elf campaign and you guys will just see how, if you don't already know, how deadly the uh, high elf archers are. Because in a battle like that, you'd just form up the high elves in the line, but archers in the line behind and the enemy would just die. Um, we can take the slaves and the replenishment. I need to actually have a little look how what we're doing on slaves. The slaves do any minus one from slaves. So we've got the uh, circle of iron, which gives me more magic, more armor. Good, good, good for an attempted. Reduces the cost of some of my spells and adds the uses. Um, yep, yeah. and. Uh, Increasing my magic item drop trust, so that's a very nice thing. I get a bit of a lot of bonus experience. Can we double time round to this settlement? Not quite, but we're going to start moving around there anyway. Does this include Black Ark Corsairs? Yes, it does. So I'm going to start pushing down here because I'm going to be uh, trying to put some Black Ark Corsairs into all of my armies at the moment because. Uh, they, they just generally seem seem better, so... Uh, where do I want to buff up? I'm going to buff, buff up down here, because I can probably do a little bit more down here. I need to do something with her to help her. Let's see if I can equip her with another item. Let's take the armour off them, that will help buff up because giving them items it does say one of the things which can up their loyalty so let's see what happens now I, I, I have a feeling soon I'm not gonna have a problem with people to be at war at because I'm gonna get slammed from the side over here as well so I'm gonna be warring in the north a lot against all of these uh, against all of the Norsican factions which are haven't received all their extra units yet, thankfully, because um, I think the Total War Warhammer 1 Norsican update, I, I've got to say, I think Norsicans are a little bit overpowered at the moment in that. I've played a Norsican campaign on that and they are deadly. I probably will play another Norsican campaign once they're in here as well. Um, but they just did a little bit too overpowered in that. So Argol here, Aghal, uh, they are properly on the rampage and they already seem very powerful okay so we've got these guys coming down there I'm just gonna okay so this is extra leadership for various units and she is even better at sorting out public order and her loyalty has dropped again but right, I think we need to get her up and involved in some battles um, Just have a look. Is there anything here which will eventually help me with loyalty? Otherwise, I might just have to uh, throw her out. That's good. You do get to the point on these guys where you get very good at. Uh, work out best. I'm gonna go for the... No, we're gonna go for the... Oh no. Yes, public order. Master of cruelty. Okay, let's start I'm moving, sprinting words. her up. I'm gonna get her involved in a few battles because that should help with her loyalty. Um, right. Do shades have... They do have a lot of missile damage. Their range... What's their range compared to these guys? The range is slightly better, the damage is better. Uh, uh, is better. They are not armoured. However, they have stalk, they have 
they um, you know, they're not they can't deflect, but they do more damage, which is very good. Um, and they have stalk, which means that uh, they can remain hidden in any terrain, which is quite good. Uh, so I can I might well start replacing. They're also reasonable in melee as well. So uh, you know these guys. So if you, I compare them to the dark shards, you know the dark shards don't really have any weapon strength at all. So these guys can also be charged into melee. Um, they're quite fast. They've got good melee attack. They've got good melee, well reasonable melee attack and defense. Let's just compare the two types of shades. So these guys have the shades of Black Art Corsairs with hand bows. Are they just the same as Black Art Corsairs? In fact, they seem to have more melee attack. So Black Art Corsairs with hand bows. These are hand bow, hand bow infantry. 80 armor, 71 Melee attack is 42, melee defense is 34. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. So these guys are better, but they're not by much. So, uh, that's tricky what I want between them. No, they have a lot more range. But for now, we're going to start pushing out some uh, Black Heart Corsairs into this army. He's in the town, isn't he? Yes. Do Let's uh, start building up that town. Favored of the Witch King. I can get myself a black arc. Um, I'm going to pop that now. I won't necessarily use it. Oh, yes. On turn start, so yes, straight up. Getting the extra loyalty for my lords. Because she needs that. Um, okay, and we're going to get her involved in some battles as well. And we're going to do a little bit of army tweaking to make sure Malakip has the better army. Because at some point, I dare say, I'm going to have a few lords who will go rogue. And I'm going to have to put down. Um... I think if you just leave a, a lord sitting around in some of these cities, they are inevitably going to have a little bit of issue. So we'll we'll have to see how that do, how we do with that. Okay, so let's see what these guys do. Or are they just going to sit there raiding and trying to mess up my public order even more? Like horrible, horrible people. They're so mean. <laughs> no, we're going to push up there and deal with them. So so we are going to. Try and push up. Hopefully that that um, right I've just popped should help with this region. Um, but I need to keep an eye on these Skaven because I don't necessarily trust them back there. Um, okay, so how is my public order? My public order is doing very nicely at the moment. She has gained a little bit. Right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's let's do a little bit of tweaking here. I want the ones with shields because they are better. And I'm gonna swap out some of one of these guys for one of these guys. Okay, so Malakif now has. Oh, that. Randomly increased her loyalty. Taking things from her increased her loyalty. I'm confused. But that gives us a lot more rounded an army now. Um, this isn't quite as rounded an army. I'm actually going to drop a few units out of here. Uh, because I want to start getting the income so I can start upgrading my settlements a bit more. Um... So reducing my army can lower the loyalty. So they basically don't like being in charge of small armies either. Um, right, so we're good now. He has got a nice army set up now to, to go very aggressive into to, into their territory. So these guys, while they don't have the uh, reduction to... Uh, they have... Oh, they do armor piercing as well, which is very good against these guys. They have While they don't have reduction to damage... They have all of this extra armor, so let's have a look. So, for example, this reduces a block chance by 55%, but I have more more than 50% extra armor, so hopefully that will uh, mean that I'm 
we'll have to see. How is their HP comparative? They also have slightly less HP, so they're going to be a bit more shock infantry. Yeah, I'm going to use these the other guys as my meat shields a little bit more, and the uh, Black Art Corsairs as my damage dealers. And the archers obviously behind to back them up. Okay, so we're going to be invading the north soon, guys. This is going to be uh, happening soon. Hopefully my other lord isn't going to start losing too much loyalty from disbanding a few troops. Maybe I need to disband her. All the high elf factions there. At some point I do want to go and invade Ulfwan, though I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do that soon. A lot of these guys are starting to uh, go to you know, have peace with each other simply because I think, think we have a bigger threat at the moment from a Argol up here who are being very aggressive. Um, I'm actually quite worried about them. Okay, so she is loyal again. And we are ready. We're going to start taking attrition here from chaos corruption in these areas. Um, simply because of all the chaos corruption here. Right, let's work out where their arm is. I'm going to keep her there because she's in a nice central position for now. For anything else I can build up. These are also slightly smaller units, so I don't know how much that will affect overall. Um, Dreadlord, awaiting command. Oh, right, I need to, I want to put her in the t Actually, she is in the town. What violent delights. Why is it telling me I need to move her? Okay, let's end turn. I think we're about to be in a very bitter war with Argol as well. That all the Norse confections up there, I am... I'm going to be being thrown into pitched war with, and I don't think this war is going to end soon, so... uh. We're going from war to war to war here, guys. This is, uh, interesting. Okay, so... Uh, you can just see how many people there are. I mean, I can always double time pass, but then you do end up missing quite a bit, so I prefer not to. Um... Right, so all the other Dark Elf factions who are scrabbling at the moment, um... Oh god, so let's uh, get her back over to Ultra of Ultimate Darkness. Basically all they've done with that army is wandered it around the top. Do not cease, Commander. Do not let's see, further. what's the garrison like there? So it's not great, so actually if they get attacked, this is going to be a tricky fight to deal with. I should have built a wall there. Start buffing my garrisons a bit, and we are going to start. We are not being subtle now, we are just smashing into them. Nice, easy auto resolve. Let's uh, loot and occupy so I get the regen and the slaves. Malekith has leveled up again. She's bold, she's getting various abilities again, as I've mentioned before, they kind of level up. Um, right, and we are buffing up all of these guys as well, so let's have a look at what the other ones are. So, Cold Ones, Slaughter, Witch Elves, Executioners, and Blackguard, that is probably something I want, and then these all ones tend to be. So, I'm probably going to want to go down at least uh, this one as well, because uh, when I get to the high end, I'm probably going to have a lot of Executioners and Blackguard. As well, though I also want to start generally buffing him up himself as well. Um, right, let's end turn. So, uh, is it? I think I'm going to push onto Iron Frost next. So I can get this whole region and hopefully force a peace uh, with with these guys. Um, and then I will try and just uh, recoup Intel Argol, because I've got a feeling Argol is inevitably going to smash through these two tiny factions. And then I'm going to be in a bitter conflict with them, and they have a lot of armies. Um, 
the issue is here if I if I leave it once I've taken it if I leave it it's inevitably going to uh going to have re have rebellions as well so I'm in a trick again I'm in quite a tricky position and there's something I've forgotten to do which is a really silly thing and it's a really important thing to do in any of these campaigns I need to create a random lord to just sail around the sea okay this is a battle I need to fight and this is a battle I might not win uh, so yes uh, this is gonna be a tricky one uh, on no map apparently as of yet uh, so, why do I never get the good map where I've got that little corner to camp with the thing which the Skaven always seem to get? There's a map here where you've kind of, when you're defending, where you've kind of got this pinnacle of rock and there's a really steep hill up to it. So you can just sit on it and the enemy has to attack you up a really steep slope and they can only attack from one side. And I never get it when I'm defending, but the Skaven always get it when they're defending and it means they can sit there and hammer me with their Plague Claw catapults. Um, which is painful. Oh, this is horrible. So they have a hill to charge down towards me. And here's my settlement behind with random pits to fire. Does look good though, that settlement. Um, I'm going to try and push up here into this bit of woodland, woodland here. Try and use as my defensive line. My lord in the middle. She is a good melee lord, so that doesn't look like the middle to me. Oh, it does. I've just not got them all. Nagarothi. A quick pause while I, I reform. Again, okay, a quick reform, a quick move, get them up into position around here. Um, these chaos hounds, I need to watch, and they've got this uh, their chariots as well. So hopefully, my archers will be able to deal with them relatively quickly. Um, Didn't mean to select all of them. Okay, we are getting nicely into position here. My lord is there on her steed. Some of these guys are already shooting. And here they come. I'm going to try and fold around them, actually, to an extent. Get ready for the counter charge. And now let's counter charge them. Oh my lord, going straight to them. Get the chariot, get my spears in on them. These guys can push through this gap. These two can hit on, can stay on that. Into the side. Some of my swords have been pulled. I want to try and pull you through to get you behind. Ah, oh, this is not going well. So some of my units are getting properly overwhelmed now. Get these guys around behind. You guys can keep hitting these chariots. Right, you can hammer into the back of them. Damn it, they are just pushing my archers off, which I didn't want to happen. I shouldn't have moved so much straight away, and you guys can hit the back of these. This is not going well. I'm not going to have to worry about this guy's loyalty for long. She is broken. Okay, it does up it, but it doesn't bring them back. Losing my archers was bad here, because uh, my archers have not been able to do anything here, really, to help me out. Oh, 
my, my lord is playing. This is over, guys. I have lost this battle, and I've probably lost this settlement. Um, this campaign just doesn't want to be want to do well. I need that proc, and all of my archers are in melee at the moment, um, which has messed me up. If I'd had my archers shooting into here, I'd have done much, much better. But uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Here goes our proc. Come on! I messed this battle up. They've barely taken any damage. I did terribly here. I, I just didn't have time to get into position. I, they moved a lot faster than I expected. So that was completely my mistake. Um, let's keep hitting the, these guys. You know, these guys are still fighting. My lord is still running away like a coward. But these guys are still fighting. You know, they're not broken yet. They are beginning to break. I'm surprised I've not had the mass route yet, if I'm honest. Um, she can make herself unbreakable. She can charge back in. Get these guys over and shooting. And the mass route is happening. We are we are done. That is how not to win a battle, guys. Um, I did terribly there. That was a terrible battle, and I really messed it up. Um, and now we're in a bad position again. So uh, that is that. That is a close defeat, apparently. I'm not so sure I'd have called it close, because they uh, they smashed me. Um, I did not do well at all there. Um, and they just cut through my ranks. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, we are going to end this one here with me having to uh, reel from this loss and try to... Uh, I'm going to have to start pushing out another army very quickly to try and... Uh, try and recoup here. Hopefully they're not going to destroy this settlement. Nope, they've just captured that settlement. And they've got another army coming around. So I'm going to have to abandon here and pull back down because I'm uh, I can't deal with this. Um, so Malekith is quite simply going to have to double, town it, double time it straight back down which means that this settlement is going to fall because there's no way I'm going to hold it. Um, yeah, things are going well, guys, as you can tell. Uh, so we're going to end it here, guys. Um, I'm going to be jumping onto my Lizardman campaign for a little bit because I need a little bit more victory in my life. Uh, and we'll be back to uh, trying to win this, trying to struggle back on this campaign uh, later, later on, uh, possibly get a couple more up tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time, guys, and thank you for watching.